I actually did a did a little something different on this song. I actually sang this as if I was a Chinese person myself. I sang it in first person. I've made music for them in the past, you know, for for the Chinese uh for for the Chinese people and for their struggle and for the NFSC and they'll fight against tyranny. But I always do it in a third person, you know, it's always me spitting for them. In this one I wanted to I wanted to spit it as if I was one of them so that when they sing along to it, they could sing it in first person. You know, for example, part of the hook, I say, uh, remove the word Chinese because you don't represent me. No. You know what I'm saying? I couldn't have put that emotion in there on third person. I had to be first person to be able to carry that. So like that way, when they sing along, they can sing it word for word. And it's it's like it's coming out of their mouth. You know what I'm saying? And I, I believe that goes a long way in music when you want to touch somebody. So. I took I took a page out of the book of the of the great Tupac Shakur. He used to do that a lot. I know he has a song called the Happy Home. It touched me early in my life. You know, I had I had my little family early in life, so that song always touched me. And Tupac never had kids or a wife, but he was able to put himself in the shoes of somebody who did and make a classic song out of it. Also, the part in the verse where I say uh, how I start the verse, I say uh, they shot my father. Kidnapped my mother. That was a decade ago. Hit fast forward. Still haven't heard nothing about her. You know what I'm saying? That's also that I, I get this from uh, from from story from horror stories that I've heard from the Chinese people themselves. But you know, while I'm around the NFSC and I hear some of these horror stories about life over there, you know, un under the rule of the CCP, and some of it was just like the like like main headlines coming out of China. You know what I mean about the CCP and the evil bullshit they got going on. Like what that like that girl from uh. Like what happened to that girl in Shujaw that she was chained to a wall for 10, 15 years, something like that. Raped over and over, gave birth to I don't know how many kids while in that situation. And then was later found and, 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 and discovered. It was a deep story. If, if you haven't heard about it, you should look into it. But that's that's what I'm talking about when I when I refer to the girl from Shujaw. So what I did in that verse, I just got, you know, I just got the horror stories. Some of the most horrific stories I've heard. From from personal testimonies and, and and just you know from headlines, and uh and I put them together and I try to make a little song impactful and powerful for the people, so I'm like a move them. We taking no more CCP, get up out of our country, set the Chinese free, and that is no.